Welcome to the wonderful, wonderful world of online dating. So you are single and you decide to put yourself out there and start dating online. You have to do a profile. What do you put on it? What are you gonna say? I'm here to help. My name is Sharita Janelle and I am a dating expert and I'm gonna help you navigate so you can put the best dating profile to put your best foot forward and find the man or woman of your dreams. <laughs> Let's start with photos. Photos are the first thing that people see when they go to your online dating profile. But so many people make mistakes and I'm not sure why they do this. They decide to put blurry photos, group shots, photos that are as far away. You are doing yourself a disservice if you're not putting and posting your best photos so people can get a clear picture of who you are so they know who they're going to meet when they decide to swipe. But rule number one, your first photo should be some kind of headshot, at least waist up. You wanna have a clear picture of who you are, you wanna see your face. You should not be wearing sunglasses. Men, you should not be wearing a hat. Ladies, you should not have this photo heavily filtered. No kitty cats or dogs or any rainbows or hearts or all the things. If you don't have one, take a selfie in good lighting. When I say good lighting, I mean natural lighting. Not when the sun's on top of your head, when the sun is in front of you. Natural lighting, golden hour is a great time to take a photo that's right at sunset. When the sun is setting and you have this wonderful warm glow on your face, take a couple photos, get comfortable in front of the camera and put your best foot forward in regards to what is the person going to see when they meet you today. For some reason, people like to post photos of themselves from 10 years ago, from 10 pounds ago, from 20 pounds ago. Meaning by the time that, that you have posted these photos or you're, you're going through these archives of old photos, they don't represent who you are. And that's gonna waste your time and the person who's swiping on your time as well because you're not representing your authentic, true self. The more photos, the better but there should be a, 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 you should have a key, a number of key photos. So like I said, number one is something from the waist up that shows, shows a clear photo of yourself. Preferably smiling, that's always good. People like to date happy people. Second, you want a full body shot. And I know this can be intimidating, especially if you don't like your body or whatnot, but people need to see who they're going to meet. So whether it is something, an action shot, maybe it's a candid shot, you don't just need to stand in front of a blank wall, this isn't a lineup or anything, but have a great photo of yourself from head to toe. Number three, maybe some kind of a shot of you doing something fun or something you enjoy to show your personality. Maybe you're cooking. I mean, this isn't, don't, don't, you don't have to stage these photos, but if you have photos of you enjoying wine with friends and you can crop some people out, emphasis on crop people out. No one needs to see everyone else. No one's dating anyone but you. Do not include your friends in your photos. There's a lot of editing software that you can easily crop people out of photos. So think about putting something that you enjoy. Maybe um, like a wild car photo, or horseback riding, or playing golf, like an activity. That's always great too. You wanna give people a well-rounded picture of who you are through your photo. Now let's go to profile. And these are some of, this is the difficult part because I feel like people, they get stuck on not knowing what to put on their profile and they end up not putting enough. Number one, never answer one of the prompts with a one word answer. No one wants to talk to you and have a one word answer. This is a conversation that's yet to happen. Think of it like that. So as you go through the questions and the prompts that the, that the service gives you, you're gonna have loads of things to choose from. And scroll through, find something, and when I say something, like at least two of these prompts that resonate with you, something you want to answer, whether it's about the person that you want to meet, whether it's about yourself. Um, there's a couple questions on there I would avoid. It was not one of my least favorite questions. What would you do in, in a zombie apocalypse? Unless you're really into sci-fi or something like that, I would avoid that question. Uh, especially women, because it's like, I, I mean, I, for me, doesn't really say a lot. Um, also, um, something you can't shut up about. 
You never want to give off the impression that you're going to be talking about the same thing over and over and over again. So I like to avoid that question as well. The question, a fun fact that I realize, I don't care. So I'm just saying, I don't care. Like, unless you have some really cool something that's like, oh my God, but I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's talk about more about you, the things you like to do, the person that you're looking to meet, maybe the things that annoy you. Like, and so here are the answers to, to my prompts, as you can see. Um, I have like things that drive me crazy. Cars moving too slow. Uh, we'll get along if like those are great things because it allows me to tell you about myself a little bit what I'm looking for and um, I really think that you should really focus on things that's going to help you find the partner that you're looking for and not just don't just blow these away and just put any and anything down because yes people do read them then you move on to the section of the profile that has all this other information it's like do you work out do you drink do you do drugs be honest. If you if you do drugs, if you like weed, indicate that. If you don't, indicate that. Because people really date people based upon these preferences. You don't want to answer things that you think you want people to hear. You want to answer who you actually are. Because I honestly believe there is someone for everyone. But if you're not representing your true self, how are you going to find that person? So I generally say less is more. But when it comes to online dating, more is more. If you want to, ch what you do, uh, if you want a relationship, if you're looking for kids, like indicate these things. And when I say, do you want a relationship? There's, there's one function on Bumble that says like, what are you looking for? I plead with you. Do not say, I do not know. If you're going to be online dating, I feel like you should be doing it with an intention. So if you don't know what you're looking for, if you don't know if you're looking for something casual or you're looking for a relationship or you're looking for marriage, figure that out before you get on the app. Because for me, if I see someone that says, I don't know, I immediately swipe left because I'm not gonna help you figure out what you're looking for. You need to know that when you're coming to me because if you're looking for something casual and I'm looking for a relationship, we're not gonna be a good match. So think about these things before you get online. What do you put on your profile? And I know a lot of people leave this blank, but I love this section because it allows you to write whatever you want. And some people use it as a way to express like the cities they've lived in, like, you know, they use the states from here to here to here, their journey and that, that tells a story. Um, I, you know, I put on mine that, you know, I'm a digital nomad, traveling, enjoy cooking, enjoy nights in, enjoy nights out, looking to find out where my next home base is going to be. This is a little story that sums you up. What do you want people to know about you? Are you a dedicated parent? Are you a pet lover? Do you love to volunteer? Are you a coffee like fanatic? This is where you can really talk to the person you're looking for and, and see if you can find something that, that you want to say that's going to resonate with somebody. I always say don't leave this section blank because you don't know what to put. Even if you put that, you know, new to online dating, looking to find a special person to do wonderful things with. That's great. Put that down. Women like that. Men. I, don't, I can't really necessarily say what you all like, but I would say that, that probably having some information about what the woman likes is important so you know what to expect when you meet them. So, I mean, these online dating profiles, I know they can be very daunting to, to put together, but really just approach it as, don't, don't look at it as an arduous task. Look at something fun. Like this is when you're getting a chance to, to show who you are to your potential new partner, potential new, you know, mate, uh, husband and or wife, who knows. And the good thing about it is you can always tweak it. If you find that you're not getting the swipes that you like, just switch your, pro switch your photos out. Um, if you find that people aren't really responding to your prompts, switch them out tell a different story then a lot of people they're they're layered there's a lot of things going on and it's just what you choose to tell people is going to determine what you attract if you found this helpful be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and share it and please follow for more dating tips